you just heard is one of the most essential rhythms for didgeridoo players, and I'm gonna show it to you coming up. Welcome to Didge Project. My name is AJ Block, and on this channel, we have all sorts of tutorials on how to play didgeridoo, hand pan, throat singing, beatboxing, and all sorts of great things for you as a musician. In today's class, I'm gonna show you an essential didgeridoo rhythm known in the West as tresillo. They also call it malfouf in Middle Eastern music. And you hear this rhythm in all sorts of world music. And since didgeridoo is a very versatile world music instrument, it really blends in with a lot of the different drums and percussion that you hear from around the world. Now, tresillo is a Spanish word used all over Latin America, and it means little three. Another name for this rhythm that they use in Latin America is the Caribbean clave. And this rhythm is especially used in reggaeton music. You hear any of those beats on the radio? Very common. Now, what's actually happening here? Here's the basic breakdown. We have a four beat cycle. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then we're gonna throw in the upbeats. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So the beats that this rhythm hits on are one, the and of two, and four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three. Four, one, two, and three, 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 four. So that's how the basic count goes. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pat my leg, keep the four count, and play the dig on the beats. Now, one thing I was doing in that intro clip is I was going doom, doom, dee, doom, doom, dee. So I'm making that beat four, the third note that I'm playing, different. And I'm using my tongue. I'm just going E to get there. So it sounds like this. So that's the basic tracio rhythm. All you really have to do is breathe out by pushing your abs on these beats, the one, the and of two, and the four. So I'm not even doing any circular breathing. I can do this rhythm and I don't need circular breathing. <laughs> I can do this basic tracio rhythm with circular breathing and I can breathe basically between any of the beats I mentioned. Where I like to breathe is after beat four. So basically on the end of four, I'm inhaling. I'm going one, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. Now, you can do this rhythm and put your breath anywhere in between the three beats. In reality, we have the four beats, one, two, three, four, plus the four up beats, one and two and three and four and, so we have eight beats total in this cycle that we're counting. We're only playing notes on three out of eight of those beats, so that basically gives you five different places to inhale. So now, what if you want to take this rhythm to the next level, which as you saw in the beginning, I was basically doing a double time version of this. And the way to count the next level of this rhythm is three, three, two. So we have one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. And the way I like to conceptualize this is ha in ha is the first three. Then again, ha in ha is the second three, 
and then ha in is the last two beats. When I say ha, that means I'm pushing with my abs, which is the accent on the beat. The in, which is an inhalation, and then the second ha in that three beat cycle, which is another push of the abs. So I'm basically going ha in ha, ha in ha, ha in ha in ha, ha in ha, ha in. Now to really grasp this three, three, two concept, let's just take the first three, just ha in ha. So it's gonna be I'm basically just repeating ha in ha right now. And this is really important to establish this little three beat segment because if you can get this, then you can put the rest of it together. If you got that down, then you're gonna do ha in ha, ha in ha twice, and then the last two, you just do ha in. So you just leave out the third beat. Now again, I'm going to put it together single time, double time. So if you liked this class and you want to go deeper into more world rhythms, I have a great free online course for you. It's called World Rhythms for Didgeridoo. It's about a 45 minute class where I walk you through rhythms like this and give you all sorts of tips and tricks for how to get there both with and without circular breathing. We have a link right here. Check it out. Totally free. So today's question of the day, what are some rhythms that you love to play on didgeridoo and what are some rhythms that you want to learn to play on didgeridoo? Post your response in the comments section below. You telling us what you want to learn really helps us know which videos to make next. So again, my name is AJ Block from Dig Project. I wanna thank you for taking the time to join me in this class. We have so many other great tips and tutorials on this channel. I highly suggest you subscribe Check us out on Facebook slash Project, and check out all our videos, articles, interviews, and more at digproject.com.